Hi everyone, welcome back. In the last video we set up our view, so to say, to edit posts and I made an error there, or two errors to be precise, and I want to quickly fix them. So I'll jump into a project and yeah, I got a new theme here, but should, should not look too unfamiliar at all, I hope. And now what's um, important here is first in your master blade PHP, so in our master layout, here, this last line here, where I import my app.js file, this is very important, otherwise it won't work. So make sure you get this import using URL2 function as we did with our CSS file at the top. I apologize to everyone spending hours uh, looking around why it didn't work. Well, probably because the import was not added. Excuse me. The next thing is that I can delete my note text here I made myself that that um, well there were errors when you had multiple posts you could edit like let's say I have a new post here in the past only the top one would open the modal and the others would not now I already fixed this and I'm going to show you how to fix it it's very easy all we have to do is start in our dashboard blade.php file I gave gave this edit anchor tag here a class of edit so this is new this edit class here the CSS class and then in my app.js file in the JavaScript I changed the jQuery selector to yeah, I have post, find interaction, but then find the edit class. And then on each of these edit class buttons, I would attach this on click event. And then it will open the modal on every edit link you click. So this should be fixed. And now we're ready to dive into the next part, which is fetch the actual text we have in our post and insert it into our modal text box so that we can edit it. Now to do this, Let's go to the dashboard view and here we get our edit button which we click and which will be the target of our event. And here, uh, where is it? Here, I do have the post body in which I'm interested. So the best thing would be if we get the event fired by this anchor tag to use jQuery to just traverse up and then pick this, um, yeah, this this first paragraph here in the article which has the text I want so let's do this I therefore go into my app.js file and then I want to in my click function here I will pass the event as an argument I can do this jQuery or JavaScript will pass it for me and then I can call prevent default to prevent the default behavior of this anchor tag to begin with now I want to store the text in my post body and to traverse up I will well yeah follow this route one level up to interaction one level up to post one level down so this will be the event target which will just be the anchor tag then the parent node again the parent node now we're on the article level and then of all the child nodes the index one and uh, obviously this should be index one. So, and here then I can get the text content, I hope. And let me just print it out to check real quick if this is working as intended. Yeah, this looks very good. So now this is working. Next step is I want to insert it into my modal form here, right? Into my text area I got here, which has the ID post body. Therefore, that is really easy to do. I can just select it, post body, and then I can just set val equal to post body. Now let's try this. A new post, a post by Chris, and perfect. So that is working. And uh, now we loaded the text into our uh, into our text box here. Now in the next video we will make sure that we can successfully send this text to the server through Ajax. See you there. Bye.